Hey Savvies, today I'm going to share with you a super simple pumpkin vegan lasagna recipe that you can make during the week or even meal prep for the freezer. For the first step, we're going to prep our vegan ricotta filling. To your food processor, add in one block of extra firm tofu, drained frozen spinach, nutritional yeast, apple cider vinegar, granulated garlic, dried basil, dried parsley, and some salt and pepper. You're going to want to blend this and stream in your non-dairy milk as it comes together. Set aside until it's time to assemble the lasagna. For the next step, you're going to want to prepare your vegan meat sauce. Heat a saucepan over medium heat. Add the veggie ground and let it brown about 3 minutes as you break up the pieces with a potato masher or a wooden spoon. Add in the onion and the garlic and saute together until fragrant for about 2 minutes. Add in the fennel seed, Italian seasoning, and dried basil, and mix until well incorporated. Add in the soy sauce and mix until it's well blended. Add in the rehydrated TBP and mix until it is well incorporated into the veggie ground mixture. Add in your salt and your pepper and mix until well combined. Now add in one can of diced tomato and let it simmer over medium low as you prepare the pumpkin sauce mixture. The third step is to make your roux for the pumpkin sauce. Make your roux by melting the butter over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, add in the flour and mix until the flour is combined. You know the roux is ready when it starts to form a paste. Add in your non-dairy milk and then whisk until it is well combined. You'll notice that it will start to thicken because of the roux. I highly recommend using soy milk because it is subtle in flavor. As your sauce mixture starts to boil, it'll thicken up. Add in your garlic, your pumpkin puree, nutritional yeast, apple cider vinegar, dried parsley, salt, black pepper, and nutmeg, and whisk until it is all combined. Now it's time to assemble the lasagna. Add a thin layer of meat sauce to the bottom of a 13 by 19 inch baking dish. Add a layer of your lasagna noodles. It could be cooked or dry depending on the package instructions. Add half of the ricotta tofu mixture on top of the noodles and spread evenly. Add about one third of the remaining meat sauce on top of the tofu mixture and spread evenly. Pour about half of the pumpkin sauce on top of the meat mixture and spread evenly. Add another layer of noodles on top of the sauce mixture. Repeat the steps by adding the rest of the ricotta mixture on top of the noodles. Add another one third of the meat sauce on top of the ricotta mixture. Pour the rest of the pumpkin sauce on top of the meat sauce. Add a final layer of noodles. I ended up using 5 noodles because that's what was left in the box and I didn't want to have any leftovers. Add the rest of the meat sauce to the top. You can make this lasagna ahead of time and bake it whenever you're ready to eat. Just be sure to put the cold lasagna tray into the oven as you are preheating it to prevent the tray from cracking. Place the baking dish on top of a cookie sheet to prevent spillage in the oven when it's baking. When you bake the lasagna, place a cookie sheet on top of the lasagna dish to create a lid and bake for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. Remove the cookie sheet lid and sprinkle the vegan cheese on top and bake for another 15 minutes. Remove the lasagna from the oven and let it sit for 15 minutes before serving. This pumpkin lasagna has a very subtle pumpkin flavor but has all the hardiness that you would expect from a lasagna. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Now set forth and be savvy!